Hello. Um, <laughs> welcome to Courtney Develops Film for the first time in seven years. Um, <laughs> this is when I got my delivery of things from B&H Photo. Um, this that I have right here is a thermometer for chemicals because <laughs> I don't I feel like I shouldn't use my kitchen thermometer, you know. Um, Penny was my assistant. Um, if anyone is curious, she wasn't in here when I was actually doing the developing. Um, that's Fixer, Fixer, Ilford Fixer. Oh, and then here is, here is when disaster struck. Okay. So what had happened was, um, I had accidentally ordered paper developer, which I'm sure I probably could have used, but... I felt like it, I don't know. I didn't want to like risk it. So, um, yeah, I had to order new. Then I have stop bath. Um, <laughs> and then photo flow. Woo! And yeah, pack that all up. Yeah, that was Penny, um, gagging <laughs> for some odd reason. All right, I'm measuring, um, utensil <laughs> and, um, some bottles for my chemicals because. All the chemicals that I ordered are reusable, including the developer that I replaced, the paper developer that I accidentally bought. Um, and then here is me confused about what this is because I didn't remember ordering it. Um, and then my film, my 120 film that I ordered. Um, yeah, so there I go opening it. And then I remember that it is a film changing bag <laughs> because you have to... Um, load your film on into your developing tank in complete darkness and I live in a loft style apartment so there is no place where there is complete darkness so I have a changing bag here's me being an idiot with my changing bag sha 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 <laughs> a few days later the right developer was delivered <laughs> um so my black and white technique class was actually my favorite class I ever took in college. It was also my, the hardest class I've ever took in college, ever taken. I can't English. Um, the dark room is a uh, exciting and also an incredibly depressing place. Um, here is me measuring some water and also I have to get it the right temperature. And I don't think I did, but I tried. Um, when I opened this developer, I accidentally, as you can see here, um, the foil fell into the developer and I didn't have gloves to get it out. I probably could have just used my fingers, but I felt like putting it, my fingers in straight developer was probably the bad idea. Also, I smelled my finger just then. That's embarrassing. Um, so here I go. I'm measuring. Um, basically, you have to dilute all the chemicals. There's specific dilutions for every single one, um, and it depends on the brand. There, I smell my finger again. This is when I realized that um, it was the developer this entire time that smelled really bad. I always thought it was the stop bath when I was in college. Um, it kind of, to me, smelled like cat piss. Um, yeah, but it's actually the developer that smelled bad. So that was a fun experience. Yeah, see, here I go wafting. Don't do this. Just in general, don't do this. But I am a professional. I have a photography degree, <laughs> so I can do this. Um, yeah, don't, like, smell the chemicals directly. I was just, like, confused because I genuinely thought that the stop bath was what smelled the worst. Um, but it does not. Actually, the stop bath I got doesn't smell at all which is interesting. Um, and then here's me mixing the fixer. And again, do not do what I'm about to do because I took a waft of that also. And yeah, yeah, don't do that. Don't do it. Um, I probably should have been wearing gloves. Um, but I didn't wear gloves in college. And I think I say that later in this video. Okay, we're all mixed. And now we got to load our film. Um, there's some really fun commentary during this, so I might just stop my voiceover in a few moments because this was a challenge. I have not loaded film onto a reel in seven years. I also um, have never loaded 
120 film onto a reel because I was too scared to do it in college. <laughs> so yeah, um, so again, maybe not my smartest choice. I remember when I was in the dark room and I used to do this. I would, not dark room. I was in the film building room when I was in college. I would like close my eyes. I <laughs> just, cause you couldn't see anything. We'll figure it out, just hold on. <laughs> okay. Sooner or later, this is gonna work. Which one's the big? This is the big. This is the big. I don't know why I tried this with 121st. I see now why we have the tools. This film is gonna look rough, but it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's getting hot in this bag though. We're getting there, We're getting somewhere. Why is it so difficult? Is it because I'm doing this wrong? What's happening? Oh my god, we're going to be crazy. That worked. We have rolling right, baby. I can't see. I think this is right. He's so mad if this is the film. It can't be. Right? Am I insane? And we did it yeah that took forever um yeah so 120 film has backing paper and yeah so anyway um here's me dancing with it and it's really cool once you see the paper because you can see the numbers that show on your camera um so you know what number you're like what shot you're on that made sense um, okay, now we start the developing, woohoo! And I, here, yeah, so lots of water I had to do first. A water rinse. Here's me trying to figure out where to put it so I can set up my, <laughs> my portable film developing station. So the water um, rinse basically just softens up the emulsion and then the water turns black because of the emulsion, yeah. Um, yep, so then we start the developer. <laughs> oh my god, if my, um, old professor is watching this, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so here, um, so you agitate with the developer, and you agitate every minute for 10 seconds. All this time, it was developer that smelled like cat piss. I always thought it was a stop bat, because... The stop bath at my school, my college, definitely was supposed to smell like vanilla. Definitely did not smell like vanilla. That's why I always thought it was the stop bath that smelled like cat piss. It was in fact the developer. Because <laughs> this stop bath smells like nothing. The fixer smells like booty. All right, so the specific film I was using um, told me to, I needed to develop it for nine minutes. So I did that. And then here's me pouring in the stop bath, which stops the film from developing any further. This is Ilford brand stop bath. Um, it told me just to agitate for 10 seconds and you can pour it out. But when I was in college, I definitely did that for like a minute and 30 seconds. So that kind of stressed me out a little bit. Officially uses developer once, says Ilford I can use it 10 more times. I probably use it more than that, honestly, but I'm going to trust them. All right, I'm going to agitate this once. And then, ooh, dump her out. And the 
stop back turns purple when it's done. So the next step is fixer, and I definitely do not have enough time to explain how fixer works, but basically it removes the unexposed part of the film, so like the border of your picture and stuff like that, and leaves your photo. Remember why my hands were so dry this part of my life in college? Because this is dry. Should I wear gloves? Maybe. But look, I didn't wear gloves in college. Oh. Hell yeah. Almost done. So the reason I got the bottles is number one, because I wanted to mix them all, but number two, because um, you can continue to use the chemicals that you have already used um, until the chemicals are exhausted, which basically just means that they've lost strength. I probably should have put the date on these. I'm gonna do that. I guess just a general disclaimer, maybe don't try this at home. You know, um, and if you do, do it in a very ventilated area and wear gloves. <laughs> okay. Now what? I fill a tank with water and dump 15 times. You got it. Okay, now I gotta dilute the photo flow. 2.5 milliliters, which is nothing. <laughs> I feel like that's probably like a good amount, right? Maybe a little bit too much photo flow, but it's okay. Yeah, I have since remembered that we used a cap full of photo flow, I think, for like a gallon jug. So yeah, way too much photo flow. <laughs> Is there anything on these? <gasps> there actually might be. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Okay. Uh, uh, I need to set up my thing. Hold on. All right, let's see if this works on this. Ooh, that is way too big. It's okay. We'll figure it out. I might have a metal one. Perfect. Alrighty. I used way too much photo flow. Used way too much. I have pictures. Who would have thought? She's still kind of soapy, but like it could be worse, am I right? So the photo flow, I have some improvement on. <laughs> Next time, I'll make a little pipette. I think I have one somewhere. That's what I'm gonna do next time. It's gonna, it's gonna be different. This was a test. And you know, the development isn't bad. Go me. There is a bit of bending here from how bad I did getting it out. Jesus. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this to my bath bathroom. One moment, please. We've done it. You know, and it's okay. It's been like, when did I graduate? I'm really bad at math. It's been six years. Almost seven since I've graduated college. So, okay, for, you know, my first roll of film in going on seven years, and honestly, my first roll of 120 developing like by myself, because I was too scared to in college, <laughs> it could, it's good. Like it's, it like could have gone so much worse, you know? Definitely next time with the photo flow, going to do some major measuring <laughs> instead of just eyeballing it. Um, couldn't remember what I did in college. I think it was already, it was already, um, well I worked in the, I worked in the lab, so I'm trying to remember what we did for photo flow. We did it, and it's only, what time is it? Almost a night. <laughs> Look at how soapy this is. This is real sad. That was way too much. It is my bad. Everyone, this is the towel. 
that I used in the dark room. It is still stained. <laughs> um, I feel some type of way about it. It's cur currently was on my windowsill because sometimes my windows leak. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna use it to dry my pants. <laughs> Just so everyone knows. Obviously, this is a, you know, organic household cleaner, so probably doesn't exactly clean chemicals that great. But, and I also used my mobile darkroom, mobile lab, aka two trash bags. All right, so things I would do differently um, photo flow differently. Um, I also dropped it. Because <laughs> I am big clumsy. So I had to rinse it again. Um, so I mean, they're probably gonna come out like shit. But it's okay. It's okay. Ignore my bathroom. No one look at it. Um, but hey, there are photos in there. And, you know, the developing time? You know... It is clear between the two. So I feel like I did a good job for my first time since in seven years. <laughs> so, yeah. So all in all, I think I did okay. Um, there's definitely uh, some mistakes that were made during the <laughs> developing process. Um, but that's okay. Um, these are some of the images that I got. So this one is probably the one that came out the best, um, developing wise. Um, and then this next one, just in general, probably my development was obviously not great, but I kind of liked how it came out. It looks like kind of an old photo. Um, okay. A selfie, of course. Um, a note about these photos though, on the left on this image and then on the right on the rest of them um you'll see like a straight line going down the side that is not from developing that is from something that is in my camera that I need to get cleaned out <laughs> um I've had that it's like a Yashica camera for like it's a 120 film camera um twin lens reflex camera for forever and um, I got it second hand and it needed a clean even when I got it second hand so now that it's been you know going on seven years um it definitely needs a clean um so yeah so I'm otherwise I'm so glad I did this and I'm really happy and I'm excited to develop some 35 millimeter soon so yeah thank you for watching if you made it to the end of this video please please leave me a comment and let me know that you watched it <laughs> um because I realize it's really long okay okay bye